Hi everyone, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to a short video where we will wrap up the course with a few key messages. We will begin with one analysis question and finish up with a few synthesis questions. In between, we will review the five components of employee training and changes in workplace learning. Think about all the material from this course, such as the readings, the videos, tutorials, and of course your PBL activity. What do you consider to be some of the key messages in workplace learning today? Looking back to earlier in the course, we found that good learning organizations are where people continuously expand their capacity to create the results they truly desire, where new and expansive patterns of thinking are nurtured, and where people are continuously learning to see the whole together. This is achieved through the five components that help organizations and employees. Additionally, there are several ways employees are trained. Formal learning leads to recognized credentials, such as a university degree. Informal learning includes seminars or learners' communities of practice, which is different from social learning, where engagement is fostered in multiple ways, often initiated by the learners, peers, and experts. Finally, apprenticeship learning combines formal learning with hands-on learning. Now, don't forget that many learners mix and match different types of learning to achieve their career goals. This illustrates the flexibility of learners. However, organizations are proving less flexible. According to Quinn, the industry congratulates itself on how they make use of the latest technology. But the lack of impact is leading a drive to irrelevancy. At best, learners tolerate courses, workshops, and training seminars. Operation groups and others are beginning to focus on the performance solutions available. Executives are beginning to hear the message that the old approach is a waste of resources. Hiding your head in the sand isn't going to cut it. The industry has to change, and that means you will have to change. But you're a professional in learning, right? So lead the way, and the best way to change is to take the first step. Researchers say that brain-friendly teaching techniques take into account different aspects of brain functioning. Novelty captures our attention and activates learning retention. Short-term memory is limited and should not be overloaded. It's easier to retain information and memory works faster when more senses are involved. Mirror neutrons allow us to activate positivity in others and each hemisphere of the brain processes and recalls information differently. The brain also prefers what it has also experienced. Researchers also say that big picture learning and learning details activate the brain differently. Sleep helps us consolidate information and is therefore a necessary component of learning. Stories also consolidate information and emotions also affect memory retention and the ability to learn. Finally, visualization is a means for better performance. Learning leaders who want to ensure the efficiency of their company's learning strategies would be wise to consider the findings of neuroscience, molecular biology, and early childhood development. These fields offer insights on how we learn and retain information over time. We should create learning solutions with design and structure in mind and give particular attention to tools and features, and also how these will contribute to the learner's ability to concentrate, focus, and retain information for the long term. Additionally, we must consider simple, effective tools, such as checklists, which can be linked to supporting learning resources. End of training assessments only test short-term memory. More interactive learning opportunities, such as ongoing coaching sessions with peers and mentors, reinforce long-term skill development. So, in a nutshell, all this is saying is design matters. There are four synthesis questions for the upcoming tutorial. We will focus on the key messages you've taken away from the course, how the course has influenced you, and tools or strategies you will try. This is the final video of the course, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you. I had a fun semester and hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I encourage you to put into practice many of the workplace learning skills you've honed over the last 12 weeks. You can make a difference in how people learn in the workplace and how employers approach training as an engaging, fun, and profitable tool. Thanks for watching.